Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J, and yes, the hair is still straight. <laughs> so, on this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about an amazing free resource. And it's a resource that I've mentioned in the past, but I wanted to do a whole video on it and let you know how we're using this. And that is ck12.org. Um, that's the name of the website. I'll put it in the description box, but it's www.ck12.org. And this site is absolutely amazing. They have full courses that are available in the areas of science, math, technology, and English. And they're constantly adding new resources. I love it because everything is customizable. First, what you do is you can go and play around on the site, but I would encourage you to go ahead and get a free account you can get a free teacher account and you can create free student accounts for your kids. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to use any of their resources and customize them to your liking. For instance, if you take one of the textbooks, you have the ability to switch chapters around, to switch out different video clips or resources. You can switch out the various experiments that will be done. So everything is that is in there you can customize it and use the wording that you like change some definitions anything like that it's really really easy to use it's really easy to adapt to your needs what I love is that for many of the courses that they have on their site they have everything that you would need for instance this year we're going to be using their middle school earth science resources they have available for free a full teacher's guide student workbook and student textbook and with this you can use the uh, books right on your computer you can just download it onto your computer um, or just look at it live online or you can download it as a PDF I also love that on my iPad I also have the CK 12 app so we can look at all of our materials all of the resources that we have on our CK 12 site we can look at that on our iPad as well so it is absolutely wonderful the, science, the courses that they have for science are things like earth science, they have life sciences, and one thing that some people might be interested in is that under life sciences, they have a teen health course. I know there were some people in some homeschool groups that I'm with um, in my community where they were looking for some health-based um, resources for their teenagers because, you know, when we talk about health and eating right and exercise, you find a lot of materials for younger kids, but they actually have a course for teenagers. They have physics uh, courses, they have um, biology, just pretty much any of the major sciences that you will be looking at. They have full courses available at both the middle school and the high school level. Another thing that they have is math. And when I say they have math, they have everything from kind of basic math through algebra, trigonometry and calculus again these resources are customizable one of the things that I really like is they have um, a out in their algebra class they have algebra concepts that can be introduced from K <laughs> all the way through so if you click on kindergarten they have resources that you can use to introduce algebra concepts to kindergartners first graders second graders third graders and it has all the information that you need all the wording, all the experiments, all the concepts that are going to be at that appropriate grade level, but just teaching kids things like balancing equations, which is really, really great. They also have an, a high school engineering class, which I looked through it. Um, we're not using it right now, but I looked through it and it was really good at introducing some of the more basic concepts that kids should know at the high school level for engineering. Another thing that they have is some English classes. They don't have a lot of English classes, but the English classes that they have are really cool. For instance, they have a journalism 101 course that is available. And again, all these things are available for free. So what you can do with your free teacher account is that you can save any, any of the textbooks, workbooks, or student textbooks and teacher's manuals to your account and it's going to be there so you can find it easily and also any customization that you do. 
So if you want to rearrange chapters so that they're in a different sequence, if you want to change out experiments, if you want to add in some additional information or combine some concepts, when you do that customization, you save it and then that's available. Your own private customized copy is available to you at any time and you can download your customized copy as a PDF, which I think is great. And you will also be able to get emails when your kids complete any assignments that you have them to do. You can see when they log on and that sort of information. Also for your kids, when you create your kids account, everything that they need is going to be right there for them so they don't have to get lost in the shuffle or they don't have to go poking around and not really know what you are expecting them to do or when you are expecting them to do it, which is great. I love that since you can download things as a PDF, like we use a lot of text-to-speech software. So when we download the books as PDFs, we can use our text-to-speech software so the chapters can be read to my kids. And also online, when you're looking at it online, you can use the text-to-speech as well. It's just that sometimes it'll read everything that's in the margins and everything that's in the tabs. So downloading it as a PDF tends to work a little bit better for us with text to speech. I love that everything is, it's, it's really good, solid, up-to-date information and everything is available at your fingertips. It's not hard to use at all. I've been really happy with how easy it is to navigate through the website, navigate through the resources and everything is really good top-notch quality there are some reviews I found that the reviews that are on the website are not really that helpful <laughs> people will tend to say oh this is great oh this is fun or oh I didn't like it but they don't really tell you why they liked it or they didn't like it so I haven't found the, the uh, reviews that are on the site to be really helpful but I haven't seen anything that causes me pause in the content that is available. Now, I'm not going to, you know, have my kids take every single test that they have or every single quiz, but I will definitely be customizing some of the quizzes and different things that they have available for my kids just to make sure that we have those things in the file and as we go through things, they're going to work for us. I will say that for instance, as I'm going through and putting in the Earth Science course for us, there have been some links to videos that did not work. There have been some links to outside sites that did not work. The links were broken. So you do have to work a little bit with that. But I was okay with that because I had already planned to do our own experiments for things that I've bookmarked on Pinterest or found on other sites. So that's fine. I've been able to import some things that I wanted, like some of the PBS videos that I felt were a better fit for our household than some of the things that were on the CK-12 as supplemental information. So it hasn't been a burden that links were broken for me when I was looking through the teacher's guide and when I was setting up the student textbook because I was going to be changing out those links anyway. But if you are do not want to recreate your, your whole thing or if you don't want to recreate things, you will have to check some of the links to see if they're working or if they've been broken. And that's just because the internet changes and something that was available yesterday, it might not be available today. So you're just going to have to check those links. But for the most part, it's worked really well for us. The information has been top notch. The scope and sequences make sense. I'm moving some things around for us just because I have a particular way that we're going to be looking at earth science. But for the most part, the, the scope and sequence makes a lot of sense. I also really like the astronomy course that they have available. I love the scope and sequence that they have in that. And the resources are really good. That's um, I'm using a lot of that scope and sequence in Faster Foxes. Um, astronomy elective. The astronomy course is really written, written at a high school level but because I'm able to customize it I can get it down to the level that she needs kind of that middle school level so it's gonna work for us but I definitely recommend you check out CK12 like I said they have tons of math courses including ideas for how you can introduce algebraic concepts in the early elementary <laughs> grades first second third so um that's really really great 
Um, they have a lot of different sciences available at both the middle school and the high school level. And because you can customize their textbooks, you can even get it down to that elementary level with just a little bit of work if you would need that. They have some English courses, not a ton. They have about four English, English courses available, including things like journalism and composition 101 sort of thing. So they're constantly adding new things. They may add more English courses later, but for now they don't have a whole lot. They have one engineering course. It is at the high school level. We're not using it right now. I did look through it and it looks pretty solid to give a good kind of general overview, more on the engineering process than on the specific day-to-day -day aspects of an engineer but it's still a great, great introduction at that high school level. And they have, um, like I said, they're constantly kind of adding new things. So it's definitely something to look at and try out and play with and see if it's going to work for you and your family. Because it's free, I say go ahead and give it a try. If you don't like it, you didn't waste anything but your time. And the only area of caution that I have with it is that things, they're, are some broken links when they're trying to link to outside resources whether that be ideas for experiments or videos i have found quite a few broken links but for us that was okay because i already had some of my own videos and experiments and resources that i wanted to integrate into our book anyway so that hasn't been a problem for us but it can definitely probably be frustrating if you want to just use it off the shelf and go with it. But I have really been happy with the fact that there's a teacher's guide, a student textbook, and a student workbook available for many of the science courses at the middle and high school level, as well as some of the math courses. And they're continuing to build on the site. It is going to be um, secular. That's not a problem for us. We teach science from a secular perspective. But if you are looking at science from a specific religious perspective, this probably will not be a good fit for you. But again, because you can customize it, you can go in and, and add those things that are going to be pertinent to your household or take out those things that you don't want introduced in your household. But if you are like us and you teach science and engineering, uh, from a secular perspective, then you won't have to worry about that because it is already a secular course. And that's something that you don't find a lot in the homeschool community. Uh, sometimes that's why a lot of times uh, people that teach sciences from a secular perspective, a lot of times we're using textbooks, um, traditional textbooks that are used in public schools because there's not a lot of secular resources available. So this is really good if you're looking for those sort of resources. And of course my phone is ringing, but I'm not about to reshoot. So um, I hope this helps. This is Dr. J and I'm out. Bye-bye.